in this problem, we have a PDF given to us. We have a range of values, x is only between 4 and 6, and we want to find the CDF. Now, anytime you want to find the CDF, you want to find f of x, you're going to integrate from negative infinity to x. And we'll do this little f of t dt. We just do a swap of variables just to make it technically correct in calculus. So in our case, this would be something like, instead of integrating from negative infinity, our x is only start at 4. So we have to go from 4 to x. And then wherever we see an x, we put in a t. So 1 over t, natural log of 1.5 dt. Now, if you actually want to put an x here and an x here, I'm not the calculus police in this class. Okay, that's just kind of a technicality. You're not actually supposed to have a bounds be your variable down here. It's not going to make a difference in how you calculate it, though. So to calculate this integral, the natural log is kind of throwing us off. But the natural log of 1.5 is actually just a number. It's the same as saying like 1 over 3 or 1 over 5. Because natural log 1.5, there's not a variable in it. It's just a number. So just bring it out. So 1 over natural log of 1.5. Or if you prefer, change it to a decimal if it's really still giving you a hard time. We're still integrating from 4 to x of 1 over t dt. And then you might remember from your calculus classes that if you want to integrate 1 over x or 1 over t, that's just going to be the natural log. So it's the natural log of t. Now usually we would actually put an absolute value here. But it doesn't really matter because we only care about x's from 4 to 6, which are always positive. We need to evaluate this from t equals 4 to x. So we plug in the top one first. So we have 1 over natural log of 1.5 times the natural log of x minus the natural log of 4. And this, once again, will only be for x's between 4 and 6. Now, it says construct it. Okay, I constructed my CDF. It also says sketch it. Now, by hand, I have no idea what this looks like. It does have a natural log, so it probably looks something like this. Something like a natural log. I'm not expecting you to try and graph this by hand. Use a calculator. Or something like this free program. I really like this free program called Graph. Okay, and I just want to put in a new function. So we'll just go to function, insert function, and I have 1 divided by the natural log of 1.5 times the natural log of x minus the natural log of 4. And I only want to graph it from 4 to 6. Let's see what we get. And it turns out it looks something like this from 4 to 6. We actually have a pretty short range. We're only going from about 0 to 1. There's our CDF. Notice how that is telling CDFs. Cumulative distribution probability will always start at a 0 and end at 1, at least as far as your range of values is concerned.